I've decided to do an unplanned video today to talk about my experience teaching English. I know I already did one video talking about why I got started teaching English online and a few, well actually quite a few people have written to me and asked to give more details about this. Um, how I got started, what my rates were, and so here we go, let me tell you. Uh, I started actually in 2014 online. Uh, I previously had taught in Spain as an English teacher in elementary schools and of course with my friends before that who were exchange students. So my in-person experience was up until 2014. 2014 I decided to post a very simple profile on italki uh, with the rate of I think I had $12 per hour just kind of to see if anyone would book my class. And to my surprise, someone booked my class within the first week and I started talking. I didn't, I was very, very extremely nervous, especially because I, I don't know, there's something about talking to someone on Skype, not being sure if I knew all the answers to their questions. And I realized uh, the worst thing that you can do is just not start. Um, the best thing you can do is just create a profile, talk about yourself, if you don't have experience uh, and you want to start on italki, then you can create a community tutor profile. Just create a video of yourself saying, hi, my name is Max. I live in Australia and I've, I haven't, uh, or I just decided to start teaching English online, although I've always been interested in foreigners. Um, I have experience learning foreign languages. Whatever your experience is, just be honest and mention it in your video and then post it on your community tutor profile. Uh, however, italki does need to confirm first um, that they want to take you. And I know some people who posted videos on italki and were not accepted. And I think partially it was because the video was darker, um, they didn't seem very confident, they didn't seem like they would maybe bring in any income and that they would just kind of fill up the page. And uh, those were also people from specific countries where there are a lot of applicants. So I've heard, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, so you can check on this, you can, <clears throat> you can um, ask others on iTalk, you can send messages to teachers if you're just curious about their experience. Uh, I've heard that if you are a Spanish speaker, it is a little bit more difficult to become a teacher on italki because there are a lot of people who want to be community teachers, a lot of people who are professional teachers, and um, unfortunately for people who work in Spain and earn in euros, it's a little bit hard to compete with people who have uh, a little bit lower prices, lower pricing if they live, um, say for example in Colombia where the cost of living is cheaper. So uh, it's, it's a little bit complicated if you speak like not complicated if you speak Spanish, but check with other Spanish teachers if you are a Spanish teacher. If you're an English teacher, um, I I think there's probably a lot of space on italki still. I don't know. Create a normal video, show that you're a normal person, and I'm sure it'll be fine. And uh, the next thing, and also don't be nervous about having a first class because people like your students will be understanding if you phrase your confusion, if you don't understand their question, you can phrase it in a certain way like, oh, that's very interesting. I think it's this, but let me check with you and I will get back to you later today. And then research and send them the answer later in the day, right? So it doesn't look like you're incompetent, just sound confident and uh, look up the answer and send it to them. So be reliable, right? Um, another website is called Verbling. Right? So Verbling and italki both take 15% of your income, right? And um, they, they take that as a commission. So for example, yeah, you can do the math on that. So when you're setting your prices, make sure to set accordingly. Um, so with Verbling, I started uh, as a, you know, well, I started on both as professional teachers and I started also around, I think, $15, $15 or so. And when I, you know, I got some students on there as well, and then I s slowly started increasing my price. 
right? The more I felt more confident about what I was doing, the more I understood the language, the, you know, the better I felt like I was serving people and that I was providing, you know, a really, a really, really good classes for them. And so that's, uh, now I'm charging, I kind of moved it up recently. Um, I'm going to be charging $40 per hour. Um, that's within, you know, three years. Like currently I have lots of profiles where I still have around $30 per hour and um, you got to calculate 15% taken out of that. You know, it's not, it's not like, oh, I'm making a ton of money, but um, for, you know, not having to travel, you're inside your room, um, you know, you can do it whenever you want, you create your schedule. It's definitely, um, I, I think it's a, a very positive experience. Um, now between italki and Verbling, um, I think they're very similar. I found that the support on italki was very responsive in comparison to the support on Verbling. And a lot of times I had issues on Verbling with certain things that have now been solved and they didn't respond right away. So that was a bit frustrating for me. Although I still love them because that's where I met my husband. My husband was one of my students on Verbling. So yeah. Um, another website I recently heard about was Cambly. Cambly, um, they pay, I think they pay per minute that you're on it. So if you're a teacher, I think it's 17 cents per minute maybe. And, and so like, for example, if you're talking to a student who wants to talk just for five minutes, then you would get paid um, based on how much um, you talk to them. So there's a little timer on there. Um, I think, I don't check the pricing as well. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. All of the systems are pretty straightforward. If I had to recommend a payment provider with both italki and Verbling, you can choose which payment processor you want to use. I started with PayPal and then I realized Stripe was better, their, their uh, rates were better. And then a new service recently came out, came out called Payoneer and now I'm using Payoneer to, to take out my money. So for example, um, on a payment of $5, I'll pay a $3 fee. On a payment of $1,000, I'll pay a $3 fee. So you just kind of let your money accumulate and then you take it out and just pay that small fee instead of paying a percentage of um, the price, which is what PayPal and, uh, and Stripe do. So there you go. Um, if you start, and you should put a profile up, start your prices low. You can get your first students. The first reviews will allow you to get to the next level, right? And allow you to start increasing your price. So I hope that's clear. And um, if you have any questions about teaching online, let me know. All right, have a nice day, bye.